the research we focus on is very much in the middle of computer vision and computer graphics. There are all these very advanced tools for computer graphics like Blender, like Unreal Engine uh, that will give you fantastic photographs. What they require is a lot of information. The game designer or the visual effects supervisor has to design the assets and put the lights and cameras physically in this software so that we can get the final image that we are after. This comes with the full control over what you want from the scene. You can move the camera exactly the way you want. You can put the light in physically impossible places and so forth. However, it has to be computer generated. While when we look at image processing or movie post-production software, such as Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere and so forth, or just Photoshop image editing thing, we do not have that physical control. We cannot put a light so here or change the camera direction. These require a lot of expertise and time and money to do such things and some of them we cannot even do. In our lab what we aim to do is to bring all the advanced physical capabilities of graphics engines like Blender or Unreal Engine into two-dimensional live action editing software so that in movie post-production we actually have physical control over the scene rather than just editing the two-dimensional photographs or videos which requires solving all this image formation process. When we look at a photograph as humans we are able to see where the light is coming from really, how far away something is, what is the orientation of that table over there for example, yeah. which are not at all obvious for the computers. So what we have been doing is making computers understand such things so that we can build towards a more capable post-production software. What we uh, aim to do is to give physical control over the scene, such as the lights and the cameras and the camera locations and the lens characteristics and move that into post-production. This type of physical editing capabilities will allow lighting experts, for example, to specialize for further in a post-production environment while making the production setup easier, more manageable and more importantly cheaper for indie productions. This type of a shift in the movie industry happens all the time. The way that we make movies and the way we tell stories have been evolving together with the technology within a very much uh, correlated way. The better cameras we have, the better lights we have, the better movies or the more compressed comprehensive storytelling devices that we can generate. An example for that came with the digital cameras and digital image processing several decades ago. One very common thing that we are all used to now is, for example, color grading, which used to be a very much physical process. Once we move to digital capture of movies, this color grading process became a full part of the post-production pipeline. As a result, people on set who has to worry about the color in numbers got fewer, while uh, the people who specialize in how to to get that perfect color for that perfect shot became experts in the post-production field. And as a result, the language of storytelling that we use evolved uh, with that new capabilities. We all think now that Mexico is yellow and New York is blue, for example. That's what we hope that our research will bring into the movie production industry or in general for the creative uh, storytelling profession. If we have all the graphics capabilities in a post-production environment, then we can first of all change the lights however we want in the capture so that we can make them moving around or we can literally put them in physically impossible places. This type of new capabilities has the potential to bring in a new or richer language of storytelling, now using light as a fully controllable part of post-production, very similar to how we use color today. Of course, how will it change it? I don't know. I am the person who does the software. Once we have this software at the hands of actual filmmakers, I am excited to see what they will come up with. Do you see a future where Canadian-made films will have a distinct look and feel based on some of the work that you're doing? 
I will answer this as if you ask me a different question. All right. right. <laughs>